Hi, right, good day. This is Danny. Um, today is the first of January, and um, my message to the chain. It's like every other day. Okay, this is the weekend. I've been working all week. I didn't record the weekend. Okay, so um, like I started on this series, sharing a lot of things with you. I told you I would believe in my life like it's the last day and this is something I've been willing to say it's something I've been willing to share um this is about living in the system so there was this guy his name is Andrew Tate he talked about the matrix the matrix people living in the matrix and it wasn't really making sense to me I had seen the matrix movie saw the movie years ago and that's, that's a very old movie close to you know 15 years ago or even close to a decade if i'm not even mistaken i think it's, it's 23 2003 so that movie should be like two decades ago and so when he was talking about the matrix the matrix okay i went back and i sat there and i saw the movie um being someone right now who has a knowledge in ai artificial intelligence and i know what computers could do um it was not making sense so it's basically a movie about some humans living in the system which is their mind in the system and i then got to understand his concept so what he was basically saying is we're not like we're living in a system in a computer simulated system but we're living in a world that is controlled you know there's certain controls there's certain norms that certain people who make up the system people who make up the decisions and just the same way you can plug out yourself from the make um from the matrix like if you're a human being you can wake up you know and realize a life outside you know whatever other person sees um anyone could also unplug themselves right now in this reality and stop seeing whatever other person sees and start seeing only what the movers and shakers of the world you know sees so i perceived that matrix and under dates um the notion of the matrix differently and it's quite beautiful so the other day i was looking at what and how the society is being conditioned and one of the funniest things i learned about the condition of the society is we're being made to live like zombies <laughs> very funny right i'm gonna explain so we're, we're in a controlled environment so where we're being made to live like zombies we basically live our life you know pleasing each other like it's like a please cycle infinite loop please cycle in fact there are laws there are rules and regulations that you know states you know people's rights so you don't go into on someone's rights which is nice i mean if you don't have those kind of rules um you know distinguishing what each person has limitation each person has will keep violating each other's rights right but i'm not i'm not i'm not talking about that i'm talking about a society where you have to really be with people you have to laugh with people you have to play with people and it's it has been made a norm like it's fat is i've forgotten the word i used when i was thinking about this this morning in fact if you don't get to socialize with people if you don't have friends with people if you're not with people you're not having fun you're not going to parties you're not going to weddings you're not going to celebrations if you don't have friends you visit if you don't have people come visiting you if your life is not filled with other people if your life is not about how other people perceive you you know um you're basically <laughs> not gonna be happy so we live a life where we're constantly being bothered, constantly looking at how to please the other person, how to come out all flashy, how to uh, be there, like you don't have people around you, oh you must be really fucked up, you must really be a bad person, you know, and um, it's bad, you know, down to family, I mean, as a man for instance, um, I would really tell you that um, no matter how good you do anything, uh, nobody respects it if you're not making yourself available right people only love your availability people only love your presence and then what you have to offer you know which is you know why they would respect you but when i mean love people would only love you when you're present so for a man it's quite being disadvantaged because um people only love you when um you are available right and then as a man you only be respected from what you can provide so now i get to look at as a man right now a family man i have kids i only get respected by my family if i can provide so now i get to work overly overly and overly to provide for the family and then it gets to i only get loved if i'm available so somehow if i'm not able to to be available and provide 
that means i would grow up with one or i would have kids having just one um you see every single person tells you how awesome their mom is how they want to take care of their mom how they want to be beautiful how they want to be nice how they want to give their mom the best of life and very little or rare or almost nobody talks about how to reward their father now funny enough this man goes through his whole life providing right so he's providing for the family and then every single person keeps being available to the mom so the mom is always available she's at home if it's a typical family where you know the woman is a housewife now she's at home she's taking care of the kids while her husband is going to provide now years later the man can no longer provide which means he can no longer work the kids are all grown up and now who they get to love is who stays with them and then who they get to just respect his decisions you know having been you know with him it now feels like he's a provider they have to give him a kind of respect it's the man but the love is ready there so now i looked at the average man i discovered that the average man it's all that even his family would not love after a while because he has to just keep providing you know a man is just being respected by what he can provide but then looking at the whole thing um this simply means a man has to always be available and this simply means i mean the only way people get to love you because with you it's when you are available you stop calling people you stop texting them you know they they act like you have an issue with them so you just have to constantly be in people's circle and um and i came back to really understand that this whole thing i describe right now about a man being too available and um or being so uh, providing and how you have to always be in that norm of either providing or, or what's it called again uh, providing or have been available you know you're, you're stuck with the both of them now i looked at the whole matrix cycle got to understand that every single person lives to please the other person lives to provide for the other person and i'm getting out of out of the matrix it's simply thinking outside the box not living on the norm and i discovered that every single person who was so wealthy every single billionaire i live do the opposite of what the whole matrix is doing more of what the normal life is doing and um i think i, I came out from the matrix at that you know whole time i discovered this and this is how i figured out the matrix now you get better when you spend time with yourself but the society the controlled environment keeps stating otherwise so you keep being told constantly that you should do something to get you busy so you don't spend time with yourself now remember that the matrix does a personal thing you have to log out yourself now being th- outside the matrix or thinking outside the box or being able to lift your potential start with you realizing you need to be on your own right now the way the world works like this book i read by napoleon hills um, at the devil now the basic thing the devil tries to do the devil is not the biological or i say the biological the biblical <laughs> devil no, i'm not an I'm atheist. i don't do religious stuff so don't <laughs> don't turn my video off because i know whenever i hear anything has to do with religion on people's video i stop watching okay so now by napoleon hindu he said the devil he meant the negative energy right the other part of you that um uh, is the opposite of anything good anything you perceive good or most things you perceive good now so the devil or the negative energy tries to keep you from everywhere aside yourself because the real truth is every single person is extremely very powerful when they have self reflections when they are no longer living their life to please the other person and i discovered this because i had a personal experience while i was learning how to code there were points i would spend more time with myself like all that mattered to me was just to be on my own and uh, do things myself and i know within those period i was really very good and um i've seen every single billionaire they spend time with themselves billionaires don't look for parties to go they don't look for clubs to club all the time they don't look, they are always on uh, themselves they don't need to buy a shiny lamborghini to you know attract people it's usually the rich people who do that but the real world the real movers and shakers the real players of the world you know they stay on their own they're not social they don't even have most of them they're cut out from their family you know they're more focused on themselves and themselves comes first so you want to know what it is like to be that man that would be a mover and shaker of the world you need to learn how to do the opposite right i'm not saying you shouldn't provide for your family you could make that a 0.001 like me i'm planning that i will have this plan that i can that will sort the family on its own i mean those kids will grow up 
they will not even remember what dad did you know i can really remember much apart from the negative ones my dad did will move on the girls will get married the boys will have their own family so let it be about me i'm cutting out of the matrix i don't care much i'll make a provision for that something that won't bother me that will give them the life to also chase theirs and um, I will not make myself available to anyone because the matrix, the controlled environment wants you to keep making time for everyone. You know, it looks like you're not living up to life if you don't have people around you. And that's the opposite of what the movers and shakers of the world do. They're always on their own, always isolated. They live in a big house where nobody comes in. They're spending more time in their career. People who do well, your Ronaldo, your Messi, these are people who spend time playing. The best, um, uh, what's it called again? People, the best people at, at any skill are people who spend more time doing that thing so i'm spending more time to improve myself and my career to be out of this matrix to live a life that i would look back and i would be proud of and that life is not a life where i would have to conform the matrix is a life where i have to live outside the matrix